Hi, today I got an interesting question from a student. He asked me whether it would still be a good idea to learn web development and become a web developer when we have services like Wix or Squarespace or similar services which make it very easy to build a web page. Because there you don't really need to write any code, there you can just drag and drop your web page. You can just build your website by dragging and dropping and using templates and well, everyone can build a website with that. So therefore, the question is, is it still worth learning web development or should we better learn how to use Wix and other pages like it? Now, first of all, I want to say that services and websites like Wix or Squarespace, and I will use these names interchangeably. So services like them, which allow us to build websites in this drag and drop approach, where you don't need to be a web developer and where you don't need to write code to build a website, those services really are awesome. Because with them, you see how easy it is. This is how Wix advertises itself. And you can see that you can really build a website just like this in such a rich editor and you don't need to write any code. And those services are amazing because they enable everyone to build a website. Everyone can build a website with them and you don't need to be a web developer to build one and you don't need to hire and pay a web developer to build one. Now, of course, we're all there because we want to become web developers or because we are web developers and therefore it's not great if there is a service that replaces us. But does Wix and does Squarespace and all those other services, do they really replace us? Well, let's have a look at the features Wix offers. In the end, Wix gives us such an interactive editor which allows us to build our website from scratch and in this what you see is what you get approach. Now, what you also see is that you got a lot of customization options and you can integrate a lot of things like analytics as you see here. You can add user login and you can even build e-commerce sites and shops with Wix. So that's great. You can also handle all the payments and the purchases there. You'll of course have to do the shipping on your own though. So that's amazing. That's what you can do with Wix. But of course, they don't tell you what you can't do with it. And that's the part where it becomes interesting for us web developers. Let's check out the templates on the Wix page. These are the templates with which we can start building our website. And of course, you can then fully customize them. But looking at those templates gives us an idea of which kinds of websites we can build with Wix. And if we take a look at all those templates, it looks like we can build a lot of different websites and web applications with Wix. And it's of course true. A lot of businesses will be able to benefit from Wix and similar sites to build websites for them. If you have a car shop or if you have a bakery or if you're running a hotel, you can of course build your site with Wix. If you're a consultant or you're doing some kind of personal coaching, you can build your site with Wix. If you want an e-commerce store, if you're selling fashion or if you're selling uh, toys or anything like that, you can build that shop with Wix. You see, there are a lot of templates. But if you take a closer look and you dive into some of those templates, you will actually see that they all in the end come down to landing page portfolio like websites, which isn't bad because that is exactly what a lot of businesses need. But what you won't really find here are complex, rich web applications. Sure, uh, a shop certainly sounds more complex, but in the end, an e-commerce site is relatively straightforward and therefore building such a shop and so on definitely might enable you to run your entire business. But the website itself is no rocket science. Shops are great in tutorials to practice certain aspects, but you can and probably should absolutely use a tool like Wix or uh, e-commerce uh, content management system like Shopify to build your shop because they solve many problems which you otherwise would have to solve on your own. And shops are pretty straightforward. You have products, you have product pages, you have a cart, you have a payment process. It's all relatively straightforward. 
So we have those shops and we have all those portfolio landing page sites. Now what you won't find on Wix and what will be very hard to build with Wix and similar sites, probably impossible, is Academy. No, that was just a joke, but I mean is something like YouTube. Something like YouTube. If you want to build your own video sharing social network, which is what YouTube is in the end, that will be difficult or very likely impossible with Wix. You might be able to build this general layout, but video hosting, video processing, video recommendation, and all the back and forth content creators where we can upload and manage our videos, that's something which really has to be tailored for this specific use case. There's a lot of logic in there and a lot of moving parts and you won't find a template on Wix and you won't be able to customize any existing template such that you would have all those features because that's simply not what these website builder services are made for. They are really made for your own portfolio site for presenting your business, for attracting customers, maybe for selling something. But if you're building a digital business where a lot of interaction then happens on your site after the purchase or where your main service is your website, that will be very difficult and most likely impossible to build with Wix and similar sites. And YouTube is just one example. Take something like Udemy, which is a site where you can take online courses. Of course, such a site could be built with a website builder like Wix. We present a couple of products and the products are simply courses here and we can buy them. But it gets interesting as soon as we bought a course. The course taking experience is kind of the main product of Udemy. Sure, you bought a course, but you also get this course player, you got the interactive curriculum, you get downloadable resources, you can ask questions, and of course, not just on Udemy, but also on a bunch of other platforms too, also on our own site, academind.com. And if you're an instructor, you also got a whole different side of Udemy. You got the backend where you can upload and manage your courses. So here, the website itself is the main service in the end, and that's just not something you can build with services like Wix because that's not a straightforward website. It's a whole application in the web with a lot of moving parts and different features, a lot of customization, a lot of complex logic, a complex front end and actually multiple parts in that front end. And of course, also a complex back end for all the video uploads, processing, storing, fraud detection and all these fun things. And of course, these are just some examples. You can find tons of other examples like Facebook, a complete social network. That's also something you won't really be able to build with website builder sites like uh, Wix.com because this is not just a website which is visited by people where you can read some information about your business and where you then can maybe buy something. Here we got a lot of complex parts that need to work together. And here again, Facebook itself is the web service. So whenever you're building a more complex web application, whenever your main product is your website and the services you're offering there, then you will very likely not be able to build this with Wix. Whenever you just need a landing page, a page to present your product, potentially an offline product, which just needs to be presented in the internet, but is used in the offline world, in the real world, in such cases, or if you need a basic store, then of course, services like Wix are awesome and can save you a lot of time and money. But even if you're building something like that, even then, there might be reasons why you might want to use a web developer or why you might want to learn web development to build it on your own. Simply because you can customize it in every tiny detail in exactly the way you want. You can optimize it in all the ways that matter to you. You got full flexibility and you got no template and no editor into which you have to fit your website. Instead, if you're developing a page on your own, you can control every tiny piece about it. And those are all the strong reasons for doing it on your own or for hiring a web developer. So long story short, there are a lot of great reasons for using Wix, Squarespace, WordPress or all those other services. But there are equally many reasons for not doing that. And it really comes down to the exact use case we're talking about. I showed you some examples where Wix and the other sites 
really are just not a realistic option where you wouldn't be able to build what you want to build with them. And then of course there are those sites, which I also mentioned, where you absolutely can use Wix and similar services. And I hope this clarifies why we will still need web developers and why our job is more important than ever before, because more and more businesses and services are moving to the web. But of course, that does not mean that every web page has to be built by us. And last but not least, here's a simple question I want you to think about. Do you think Wix itself, this entire service offering, the editor which they offer and all that, do you think that could be built with Wix? The answer is no, because that is a very complex digital product. And with that, we're back to those examples I mentioned before, YouTube, etc.